is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have some epic hauls for you guys as you can see we do have five seth rollins figures back here and we also have a mock figure back here and you can probably already tell what that is but we also have this package so we're just going to go over some hauls that i accumulated over the weekend i did uh, go out of town for the weekend because i uh, was visiting someone out of town and uh, me and my wife went up to nashville and uh, yeah, it was a great time. It was always nice to go on vacation and get away for a little bit, but we are back here with another epic video and we're ready to crack open this package right here. We do have the freaking trusty knife ready to go and we're just gonna slit open this package so we can find out what we got in here. Um, I'm not gonna do a, a My Damn Hauls type episode out of this just because it's only this one little package here, guys. And you guys will see the first figure that we do have out of the baggie is the Epic Moments three pack shield. Seth freaking Rollins, and uh, that's some weird AF paint job on the side, but anyways, you guys can see right here, I'll go through this, I don't know, um, this was a really cheap figure on eBay, and I think it was like literally $11, and so I was like, why not, another Seth Rollins for customs, another Seth Rollins for... Well, customs, but you know, it, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, you guys can see, I mean, this this thing has a ton of like paint chipping, I don't know what's up with that, uh, let's start off, I don't know, look, on his forehead right here, he has like some little dentsies in there, um, on his arm he's got some black, he's got a little nick on his uh, thumb right here, on the, uh, the line work right here, you guys will notice he has like some chipping right here, there's a little scuff on his kick pad, there is a bunch of stuff going on on the back right here. Like, look how it fades off right there. I don't know what's up with that, but there is a ton of paint chipping on this figure. But it was going to be a custom anyways, and holy Christ, I just noticed this. Have you guys ever noticed this on the Epic Moment Seth Rollins? Is this how my other one is? Look on the back of the kick pads. It has like this dark gray dual tone on the back. Are the rest of them like that? Have I just never noticed that? Oh my God, look at that. I never noticed that. Here's my other Epic Moments. There's actually a gray pattern on the back there. I did not know that was... That was there, but it's a different color gray than the uh, side. So I don't know why they did that. They also didn't continue the line. We covered that in the review. But that's the first figure we got in there. I ordered another Seth Rollins. Um, the night of the 2019 Royal Rumble, I went ahead and ordered a couple more Seth Rollins because they were really good deals on eBay. So I went ahead and got the first one. This is the Epic Moment Shield 3-pack Seth Rollins, which is, again, very paint chippy. But again, it'll probably be a custom anyway, so it's not a big deal. And the second figure that we got is the Elite 64 Rollins because uh, why not? I mean, it was another cheap pack. I think I got it for like $13. I think they were together. He also included the interchangeable hands. No Raw tag title, I don't believe. No, no Raw tag title, no shirts or nothing. But we did get the interchangeable open hands and we did get the epic head scan here. So we got another Elite 64 Seth Rollins to go with our, what is this? What, is that the little rubber band? Oh, well he included the little rubber band piece, so that's pretty cool. Um, I can use that for, I don't know, pictures or, I, I really don't know, but I have a small collection of these, so I'll just add that real quick. But here's the Elite 64 Seth Rollins, so this is my third now of this figure i got it just for parts and you know future customs i figured you know this is also a dope attire so uh, maybe in the future i can uh paint over the the flames or something and you know the extra head scan is always nice and again the same night that i ordered or the same night that he won the 2019 royal rumble i went on ebay looking for cheap seth rollins elites i found this one and this one both for like 25 shipped together and then i also found two uh not two i found one top talent seth rollins that'll be coming in in the next few days so I picked up one of these with these, so I got three sets, and then I went to Walmart and I found two, these two actually, top talent Seth Rollins and grabbed those. So we have a ton of Seth Rollins Elite figures here, guys. For the future, for customs, for fix-ups, for anything, uh, fantasy attires or pick fed attires that I want to do for maybe the Rumble or My Damn Nation or, you know, the other Elimination Chamber pay-per-view or whatever we decide to do, I will have plenty of Seth Rollins to customize or do whatever I want with or you know it, it's just the the possibilities are endless when you have a bunch of figures to base off of I also went on a toy hunt which is when the next portion of this video gets underway I went on a toy hunt and I went to Walmart I went to several targets you know trying to find not only the new NXT elites but I was looking for you know top talents and I was looking for that Slammin' Mobile and all that good stuff and come to find out I actually did find the Slammobile 
I found uh, the top talents, AJ Styles, found a couple of those. I found the top talents, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and I didn't grab them. I don't know why I didn't grab Seth or Finn Balor. I just decided not to, but I did pick up this, the Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin from Walmart. Uh, it is the Chase variant. I was going to do a toy hunt on it, but I decided not to. Let's go ahead and get all these sets sort of grouped together on one side of the screen here. So we'll do that, and then we'll bring the Shelton back in. But um, I wanted to make sure, or I wanted a toy hunt, but I didn't because, uh, again, I, I didn't know how many I would hit, and I didn't want to leave you guys cut short with just one uh, place or two places or what have you. But I've noticed, if you guys have noticed, that Elite 63 is popping up everywhere. I'd like to know down in the comment section below, have you guys, you know, found Elite 63? Because I feel like I'm finding it everywhere. Um, Walmart, Target, everywhere has Elite 63, but I'm not finding any Elite 64 at Target, which is where Pete Dunn is supposed to be. And so, you know, I'm looking all over the place for Elite 64 at Target so I can get another Pete Dunn, but I can't find it. But I did find the Chase variant Shelton, and this is my second one of these. I now have four or five total Sheltons, but I have four that are Mattel-based. I have the one custom. I have two of the regular Elite 63, one with the normal knee pads, one with the smaller ones that we did the fix-up with the Seth Rollins knee pads. And then we have a gold standard with smaller knee pads, and then we have this one that we picked up. So I have a ton of ladders now, and I actually planned on getting this so I could make a black variant attire of this gold standard and I might actually use one for customs to do a United States Championship attire or some sort of pick fed MDT live attire but um, I love Shelton Benjamin I wanted to uh, get another one of these and you know you find the Chase variant at retail why not go ahead and grab it and of course we did add to our epic Seth Rollins collection here let me go ahead and count how many Seth Rollins elites I have now like even including on the shelf let's go ahead and count it alright guys so with the purchase of the other top talent Seth Rollins that I am waiting on currently in the mail plus all the ones you see in front of you plus all of the ones on the shelving and any extra Seth Rollins elites that I have I have a total of 51 Seth Rollins elite figures and I believe that puts him in second place for the most figures of one person. First, of course, being John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? I totally accidentally just bumped that and Elias just interrupted this video. But of course I have a bunch of Randy Orton elites, I have Triple H, I have uh, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, The Rock, there's a lot of people that are you know up and around there but Seth Rollins is number two I'm pretty sure with 51 and then of course uh, John Cena I have, I have 97 so that, that I think it's going to be a while before anybody catches John Cena with that full box and everything on the shelf but I hope you guys enjoyed this video you know it was just a short little haul video I wanted to update you guys on the epic Chase variant Shelton Benjamin that we got I am going to open him up um, you know, we did get these two Seth Rollins elites. I'm waiting on the one more top talents. We're going to be doing some customs and stuff. Um, I, if you guys missed the Jeff Hardy Punisher custom from yesterday's video, please go check that out. That is live on the channel. Very epic stuff going on. I got a great, a ton of great feedback on that, and I really appreciated that. MDT Live is currently being filmed, guys, so you guys can be on the lookout for that. I'm going to try to have that up by, the, by, by this weekend. I'm going to grind really hard this week and try to get that up by the weekend so you guys can expect uh, MDT Live. Or, or just, I'm just going to work my butt off to get that up to you guys because I know that we're, we're getting close to the Royal Rumble. And I want to get that out as soon as possible, get onto the Royal Rumble so we can, you know, try to get to My Damn Nation before the end of 2019. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the short little haul video. Comment down below what you think of this stupid Seth Rollins collection as well as the rest of the pickups. And uh, go check out the Punisher Jeff Hardy from yesterday. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.